today <clears throat> I'm going to show everybody, tell everybody rather, how to make a, a salad garden in a colander. And I was thinking yours and Annie's kids, this would be fun. Since we celebrated Earth Day this week, I, and this is a, a good time. Kids are being taught to be good stewards of their environment, but, you know, when you bring it home um, and let them make their own gardens, it just makes it makes them more adventurous with eating, too. So what we do, we always, it seems like, have old colanders around. And you can go to the dollar store and get them. I think they're like 50 cents or so. And um, you can make a really fun garden for the kids. So I'm going to uh, tell you now how to do it. You may have already done this with your kids, but it's just so much fun. You just take an old colander. And, of course, a colander is going to be good because it has a lot of drainage. And then as far as the choices, what you said about your kids with the lettuces, let them go to the, the store and, and pick out the kind of lettuce they like. Or spinach works well, too. Oh, yeah, spinach, kale. It's a good time for radishes. I know a lot of kids think they're a little spicy, but when they grow their own, they get adventurous. And you can do the baby carrots. Just, oh, gosh, choices are endless. So what you do, Matt, you just take a, a colander, and I like to line it with coffee filters. Um, and if you have good quality paper towels, that'll work too. And that keeps the soil in but still allows good drainage. And if they slip around in, in the colander, you can just tape them so that they adhere. And then you um, just moisten those, the, the coffee filters. And then you let the little ones just pour in some good potting soil about three-fourths of the way up. And then you let them t take their hands and tamp it down to smooth, make a nice surface. And then you just let them t open the seeds and sprinkle them over that. And our kids always sprinkle way too many seeds, but you know what? It's okay. And then um, just let them sprinkle a little bit of soil on top of the seeds. You know, read the labels because most of those um, cool weather crops like lettuces don't take a lot of soil uh, on top to germinate. And then they use their hands again to tamp, tamp it down. And then I always get, give them a little bottle, um, those little spritz bottles, and put some water in there. And they love to use that because they can spritz at the top and just water it very gently. Yeah, and then they go spritzing each other, I found. Well, I was going to say, <clears throat> that's, that's what usually happens. But they have their own bottle and their own colander, so they really take ownership. And then you want to add a label and a date. Uh, we usually just take the, the seed packet and then put the date on it. And um, you just put that in a sunny spot. Now, it can be outside or in because, it, as you know, just growing those things, they germinate pretty well just about anywhere. Let them water as needed, but don't let it get soggy. And then in about a week or so, they're going to see those little tiny seeds sprouting. Another great Bible lesson there. You know, the, the Bible lessons uh, are really endless when it comes to to the, the gardening, um, but the the one that I was thinking of is is from uh, when Paul says in First Corinthians he's talking about the role that he played in uh, helping to teach the Corinthians about the Lord and uh, it's kind of neat. Uh, there are people who are uh, you know arguing about who gets the most credit for you know why the church is growing in Corinth mm -hmm. and uh, Paul says I planted the seed of faith. Apollos who came along after him watered the seed. But God made it grow. So neither he who plants or waters is anything, but only God who makes things grow. So you can plant and you can water, but at the end of the day, uh, those tiny seeds sprouting are part of a process that God himself made. And, you know, we've talked about this a hundred times before, Rita. There's certain passages in the Bible that just don't really hit the same way unless you've messed around in a garden a little bit. 